Hello everybody, my name is Allie and I'm an environmental educator. Today we're going to be making homemade maracas made from all recycled and natural materials. This activity is designed for children ages three to nine can do this along with their caregivers. Maracas are a musical instrument that are used in Latin and salsa music, but they look a little bit differently because they're originally made from gourds, not from plastic water bottles and toilet paper rolls like we're gonna be using today. And our homemade maracas will contain something super unique. They'll contain wildflower seeds so that when we're ready to finally throw them out after we're done playing with them, we can plant all of the contents of our maraca in the ground to grow flowers. This is what our maracas are gonna look like after they're done. They're gonna sound like a maraca. But I like to call this activity the Monarch Maraca Butterfly Making Activity because monarch butterflies are really important pollinators and the seeds that we're gonna be putting in our maracas with the rest of its contents are gonna help grow flowers that help the butterflies. Let's get started. For this activity, you'll need an old water bottle. I have a tiny one like this. You'll need a toilet paper roll and you'll need contents for the inside of your maraca. So what I'm using here is rice, beans, all different kinds of beans. There's so many different kinds of beans that we can use, but they both have to be dry. You can use pebbles as well from outside, as long as they're clean. And finally, to make this a monarch butterfly maraca, and not just a regular maraca, I'm going to put in my wildflower seeds. Then, to make it fun and colorful, I have some colored masking tape here. I have some Sharpies so that I can decorate it and make it my own. And I have some scissors. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is start to take off the label of your water bottle. We want it to be nice and clear so that we can see all the cool natural things inside our maraca. And of course, we want to use a recycled water bottle. Maybe you get creative and you use a used ketchup container. The world is really your oyster. You just need a bottle with a cap. Put this to the side for now. We're going to revisit this in a second. Next, you want your toilet paper roll. And we're going to want to cut our toilet paper roll long ways so that we can open it like that, OK? So I'm just going to grab my scissors here. and. This may be a little bit difficult for the kids, but that's okay. That's why we have a helping hand here. Take your time and be safe. And as you can see, I can open my toilet paper roll now. We're gonna set this aside as well. Go ahead and get your water bottle again. Unscrew the cap of the water bottle or whatever container that you're using. And there might be a little bit of water or liquid left over from when it was not empty. So what I'm gonna have you do is practice your maraca shaking skills. So let's go ahead and shake out any bit of liquid or water that might be in there. We want this to be completely dry, okay? Completely dry because we don't want the stuff that we put inside of it to get wet, okay? Are we ready to move on? I think we will. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my water bottle with what I have here on the table. I have some rice, some garbanzo beans, some pinto beans, some lentils, and some pebbles. Can you think of a time when you ate rice? Do you eat beans? These are some things that you want to think about as you repurpose all of these wonderful household food items for a cool crafting activity. You wanna fill the bottle anywhere between one quarter of the way and halfway up. You don't want it to be too full or too empty because if it's too full, it might break. It might just be too heavy. And if it's too empty, it might not make a cool noise. So make sure to shake it to hear if you like the noise. And once you do, we're gonna move on to the seeds. 
Seeds, of course, grow flowers. They grow our tomatoes, they grow our lettuce, they grow all of our food. So I have foxglove seeds. I have milkweed seeds, which monarch butterflies really love. Maybe I'll do that. Often seeds can be so tiny, so we have to be really careful when we put our seeds in this water bottle. We don't want to put too much, but we don't want to put too little. Anywhere from 5 to 25 seeds would be good. Lastly, to finish up this step, you're going to go ahead and put the cap on the water bottle. Now let's hear it. Let's hear the sound test. Do you like the way your maraca sounds? Wow, having all of the different types of materials in there really makes it sound so unique. So I bet every single maraca made from this activity sounds different from one another. Okay, let's move on to a part of this activity where we're using our toilet paper roll to make the handle of the maraca. How are we gonna make noise if we don't have a handle, right? So what you're gonna do with the toilet paper roll is we cut it so that you can squeeze it tight. We want this to be nice and tight and narrow because we're gonna fix this toilet paper roll on to the, to the water bottle to make the maraca. So we really want this to fit tight around the water bottle's cap area. So let's go ahead and hold this really tight. Maybe if you're working with someone else, they can hold it and you tape it. Or maybe if you're doing this by yourself, you can just uh, hold it with one hand and tape it with the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my masking tape. The reason why I'm using masking tape instead of duct tape or clear tape is that I wanna draw on this after. I have my Sharpies, I wanna make some cool designs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this shut and I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. So go ahead and take some time to tape this nice and tight. Wonderful! As you can see, it's much smaller than the toilet paper roll as is and that's exactly what we want. Can you guess what we're going to do? We are going to attach these two using some tape. Now, I have some really cool colorful tape and I wanna make this maraca super vibrant and beautiful and colorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my colored tape. The best way to do this part of the activity is to put the water bottle down on the table. We want the tape to attach the handle to the bottle. So make sure that your tape is touching both parts of this maraca, and once it is, you can go ahead and spin the water bottle, bringing the tape around the edges and attaching these two pieces together. Now, I have some very thin tape. This will probably be really easy if you have thicker tape. And once it's attached, see they're totally attached, I just want to make sure that it's strongly attached because this is a musical instrument and I'm going to be shaking and dancing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this tape around the water bottle and the toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna bring the tape to about a quarter of the way on the water bottle, then back up the toilet paper roll, okay? So let's do that together. Okay, so I got it down on the water bottle, but now I'm gonna go back up to about a maybe less than a quarter of a way up the toilet paper roll, just to make sure it's super securely attached. Okay, I'm done with this part. Do you see how the tape is securing the water bottle to the toilet paper roll? Let's go ahead and do a test to see if it's strong. <laughs> It's a little plain right now. I mean, I love that I could see my wildflower seeds and my chickpeas and my lentils and my rice and my pebbles, but I want to see some more color. So I have all this beautiful masking tape. Orange reminds me of a sunset. So I'm going to go ahead and make my maraca look like a sunset. Maybe you'll use your favorite color tape to decorate it like a sky or like a green park or like a beautiful forest. What's your favorite natural thing? And what's your favorite color? How can you make your maraca look like some of your favorite things? 
If you don't have colored tape, that's okay. That's why we have markers here so that we can draw right on the toilet paper roll. Since it's made from cardboard, which is a type of paper, you could draw on it just like how you would draw on paper. Woohoo! I'm all done with taping my maraca. I was inspired by the sunset here. So we have the orange and red and yellowness in the sky with the sunset. The yellow is really the sun. The blue is the sky and the green is the grass. So I wanted this to look like nature. Now I'm going to take my markers and draw on it. What could you draw on your maraca? Could you draw a pollinator that these seeds are going to help feed um, on your maraca? I think I'll draw a pollinator. What pollinators do is take pollen from one flower to another so that they can grow fruit, like strawberries and blueberries and fruits that you love to eat. And that's why we really need pollinators because they help us get food. They also help keep our earth and our planet in balance. They're so good for nature and we want to help nature out when we can by planting and doing nice things for the pollinators. Here's my design. I have a little butterfly here and a butterfly here and I made sure to put a smile on the butterfly because our butterflies are going to be real happy when we plant flowers for them. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you are proud of your monarch butterfly maraca and you make noise with this amazing thing, just like I will. And when you're ready to recycle your maraca, this is how you're gonna do it. You're going to go ahead and detach the handle from the water bottle and you can throw this in what? You can throw this in the recycling because it's paper. Then, before you recycle this water bottle into the recycling, you can open its contents, find a beautiful patch of dirt outside, dig a two inch hole in the dirt, and then place everything inside. The chickpeas and the beans won't grow anything, but the seeds will grow beautiful wildflowers for all of our pollinators. Thank you everyone for tuning in to this crafting activity. I hope you had a good time. And thank you for making maracas from recycled and natural materials with me.